The interior attack is one of the most effective fire ground tactics. But to succeed, it means getting inside the building fast. This frequently means forcing entry. In our first program, we discuss conventional forcible entry, that is, forcing entry by using the irons, a halligan, and an eight-pound flathead axe into a structure where access is locked, blocked, or non-existent. Conventional entry using these tools relies on prying tactics. And while prying doors is still an important skill that every firefighter must master, the alarming rise in crime in this country combined with advancing lock technology and increased security consciousness have made prying tactics slower and less effective. Hi, I'm Tom Brennan. You know, firefighters have always been resourceful when faced with a challenge. As America put more and stronger locks on their doors, we realized that new entry techniques were needed to match these tough new entry obstacles. The method devised and the focus of this program is through the lock forcible entry. Through the lock forcible entry got its start in the mid-1960s. An innovative New York City Fire Department battalion chief named Sinella developed this tool and with it, a technique that got through most lock cylinders a lot quicker than conventional prying tactics. His approach was amazingly simple. He found that the most complex part of a lock assembly was the lock cylinder. With his Sinella tool, a modified Sears nail puller, removing the cylinder made opening lock doors easier and much faster. Through the lock forcible entry is the technique of prying the lock cylinder out of a door and then inserting a simple tool into the exposed lock assembly to open the door as though you had a key. Through the lock entry has a number of advantages over conventional prying tactics. Speed. It's a much faster way to enter the building, particularly when there are multiple locks on a door. Conventional prying requires more time. Damage. Conventional methods usually damage a door beyond repair. With through the lock methods, the door and frame remain intact, and even the lock assembly can frequently be used again. Fire control. You can open and check exposures adjacent to and above the fire faster, which means catching and controlling any fire extension earlier. Injury reduction. An entry team swinging an ax to drive a Halligan tool is open to a number of injury risks. Misstrikes with the ax can cause injury, and thus delay entry. Heavy prying and striking can cause sprains and strains. Ease of operation. Pulling door cylinders is extremely easy and so simple to do you won't believe it until you've tried it. Once the lock cylinder is out, the relatively effortless manipulation of the exposed locking device is a more controlled and professional approach. Security. Firefighters can close and relock the door, leaving the building in a more secure condition. The door is still in place, the door frame intact, and in most cases, the integrity of the lock can be restored by installing a new cylinder. So you see, entry through the lock has a number of advantages over conventional prying tactics. But it's more important to point out that the two methods are not mutually exclusive. That's another fire service myth I want to lay to rest here and now.